Three months later than expected, the OnePlus 9 RT finally arrived. Yes, we have seen it before. Yes, we have known of its existence for months. Yes, we know of the early China release. And yet we are here, taking a look at the fourth and final phone in the OnePlus 9 series. And based on the first impressions I've had with this phone, one thing I felt the most is despite the odd release date, it seems to be the only other phone apart from the OnePlus 9 Pro that knows the price range it is in and what it's supposed to do. I've had this phone for about a week and all of those, all of the things that I'm about to tell you apart from the unboxing that you've already seen, it's all about just the first impressions I have with this phone. Nothing is going to be in detail in this video. It's just going to be something I feel from my use of this phone from the past seven days. So let's get your snacks. Let's sit back and relax. Let's get into it. And let's start with the one thing that we're here for, the phone. So what is it like? It looks and feels great. And it is premium in the ways we know. Silver metal rails on the side, which is always better than plastic. Glossy silver back, made out of glass, with a matte finish, silver camera bump. The design language is very much along the lines of the other 9 series phones. The glossy back is surprisingly resistant to fingerprints and is a big step above the super reflective mess on the 9 Pro's back. The glass, as it wraps into the metal rails, does seem to be more reflective but not enough to be noticeable. And from the front, the phone almost looks identical to the OnePlus 9R and the Note 2. I do wish the chin on the front was smaller as much as the 8T, where the forehead and the chin are almost identical, while I much preferred where the front glass just melted into the side rails. This phone has a border that lies between the display and the rails. But I do appreciate the other small details that OnePlus chose to focus on. Despite having a display bigger than the 9R, the chassis is narrow and remains just as easy to hold. Despite the materials, the phone remains light and ergonomic enough to be held with one hand comfortably. And even though the top edge of the phone being flat does not serve much of a purpose, it looks pretty darn good. And I appreciate it. And the vibration motor inside is almost perfect. It's subtle when you're typing and it's dense and strong when it's a notification or a call. Up front, the display so far has been great. It is smooth with the 120Hz refresh rate, sharp with a full HD plus resolution, and extremely responsive with the 600Hz touch sampling rate. And that was something I noticed pretty soon. The touch responsiveness felt like a definite upgrade. The optical scanner underneath the display is fast and impressive, enough for me to ignore its lower placement. As for what shows on the display, it is Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11, with ColorOS code infused into it. See, I've always loved OxygenOS and I am gonna take my good time to actually move on from that and be okay with all of the ColorOS-ness this phone has and all of the future updates that will have even more of that. With the Snapdragon 888 and the 12 GB of RAM that I got on my variant, it has been as snappy as it can get. I have been able to zip through the tasks easily. The new vapor chamber cooling system inside definitely seems to be doing its job as the phone has been dealing with the 888 heat a lot better than my experience on the 9 Pro. As for the little that I've used the camera, I can only say that the shots have been better than I expected. The camera goes for a more saturated approach with its color reproduction, along with high priority on sharpness. Based on the first impressions that I've had with this phone and considering the price that it was launched for, which is 42,999 and after discounts is available for around 38,999. It's clear that OnePlus really wanted to stamp their authority in this price range with this phone, which is something that they missed with the OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9R. With the OnePlus 9RT, they wanted to deliver a great experience with great design, which is premium, smarter choices, and a great display at a price which is competitive. Now, whether this experience will hold up in the next few weeks that I test this phone in terms of performance, in terms of battery life, in terms of camera, in terms of software, that's just the time stale to tell. All I can say right now that my feelings for this phone are much better than what I was expecting when the phone launched. And pretty soon you'll see a full review of it. So subscribe for that if you want to see that, if you want to consider this phone. Like the video if you like it. Comment if you have any questions about it or something that you want answered in the next video. I'll talk to you soon on the next one.